Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. Dear entomologists, today is Tuesday, May 12, 2020. Yesterday we talked about the different jobs bees have in a hive. Bees care about their hive and colony a lot. They will do anything they can to protect it, even if it means putting themselves in danger to do so. Most bees spend their entire lives making sure the colony lives. Let's take a look at the life cycle of a bee. I hope you all have a super fun day. Love, Miss Kemmerling. So I want to flip over to show you this chart. So at the top of this chart, you will see stage, B, and how does the hive help. Remember, there are a lot of jobs in the hive. So the first stage is the egg. And inside the honeycomb, this is what the egg would look like. And worker bees make the cells for the egg and the queen lays eggs in the cells. The next stage is the grub or the larva. This is what it would look like inside the honeycomb cells. And worker bees feed the larva. The next stage is the pupa. Now when the pupa are inside the honeycomb cells, you'll see that the honeycomb looks a little different. It looks closed off at the top. That's because worker bees close the cell for the pupa. The last stage is the adult. So the adult, once they're inside that closed cell as a pupa, it transforms into an adult and they start feeding larva bees. So I want to take a look at this next image because this kind of puts it all together. So if here's your honeycomb, right, here's all the different cells. You have the egg, the larva, the pupa, and as you can see, the cell is closed. And then you have the adult that climbs its way out. Thank you for tuning in to the morning message. Have a super fun day. Bye.